the last segment, Kevin said we had rain and snow. Yeah, not wow. valley snow out of this storm. This is going to be a spring storm with valley rain and mountain snow, but we're talking mountain snow. Yeah, it's it still is, snow. It is still snow, and it is still that time of year. Let me go and show you our time lapse today. It was so pretty. We woke up this morning with some clouds, even a few sprinkles that danced across the Salt Lake Valley. But this evening for the sunset, oh man, this was so pretty off of Farnsworth Peak. Just those high clouds coming as the sun dropped and the city lights came on. Temperatures, well, we slid from the 70s into the 60s, but it was still really nice. How about this picture in? Talking about a day for getting out and playing baseball, Saratoga Springs, Devon capturing this shot of the complex and the blue lake there. And oh, what a great shot. Devin, thank you for taking that drone and going up and showing the pictures. It was sure a nice day all across the state of Utah. Our current temperatures, we're in the 50s in Logan right now and Rock Springs, 60s in Vernal and 58 in Price. Still 66 in Salt Lake and 70 in Fillmore. This is that little line that we've seen, a little weak disturbance, stalled boundary layer that's just sitting there. It came in from central Utah, kind of pushed across the area this morning, went north of Salt Lake City this evening, and it's now kind of holding across northern Utah and southern Idaho. You can see it there on our satellite and radar. We do have a low pressure center, in fact, several, that are sitting here out in the Pacific waiting to move in. And when they do, they're going to kind of combine and ride along that boundary. And then a second low is going to drop in behind it and make for a very active end of the week and the weekend. Our storm zone showing this evening a few clouds. Tomorrow, mostly sunny, really nice. South winds are going to kind of pick up in the afternoon. We'll get into the upper 70s and low 80s in Salt Lake City. And then on Thursday, that first little push comes in from the west. The next push will come in for Friday. That one's a little more organized, a little colder, and will actually produce the snowfall for the Uinas and into the central Utah mountains, as well as the Wasatch. And then that storm system lingers through Friday night before moving out on Saturday. How much are we talking? Well, as you look at Thursday, the first little push, a couple of hundredths to a tenth of an inch in northern Utah, just a few hundredths across southern Utah. But on Friday, we increase that by a quarter to a half inch plus Salt Lake City ends up over a half inch. Richfield does the same, a quarter of an inch in Cedar City and a couple of hundreds for Kanab and St. George. That will translate into six to 12 inches of snow in the northern mountains of the Uinas and the Wasatch on Thursday into Friday into Saturday. Tomorrow, sunny, beautiful, mild, still 70s in Beaver, 60s in Panguitch, 80s in St. George. The real changes will start coming for southern Utah. We'll go from the 80s into the 70s into the 60s with a chance of some rain. Best chance St. George will be on Friday and then a quick rebound. Low to mid 80s as we head on through Monday, Tuesday, and we're right back to sunshine. In northern Utah, we'll see some clouds around, especially southern Idaho, Star Valley Way. Otherwise, it'll be a partly cloudy to mostly sunny day for the Wasatch Front with those south winds in the afternoon getting us all the way up to 80 degrees. But the fall for us will be a little more dramatic from 80 down to 56 on Friday. Scattered thunderstorms Thursday, Friday with some rain continuing through Saturday, lows in the 40s. But we too rebound nicely. Monday, Tuesday, we're right back to sunshine and 70s. Matt will be here starting at tomorrow morning at 430, give you the latest on the forecast and the latest on the storm totals coming up tomorrow. All right, we'll get through it all. Yeah. Thanks. You bet. Talent in Provo, JJ, taking it to the next level. Yeah.